This is the Hot Wheels Aristo Rat. And basically we're gonna make some changes to it fast and dirty. I didn't want to put a lot of time into this one. I wanted to see what I could do on a very basic level, just doing some very basic changes to it to improve it. Obviously getting rid of the gold. Uh, I love the looks of this car. I came by this car in an interesting way. Uh, there's a custom diecast renegades and hoodlums group over on Facebook. Uh, it's an extension of the outlaw speed shop. And Jamie from Devil's Details Diecast ran a secret Santa promotion uh, right before Christmas. And basically he sent out names of the people who were participating. You didn't know who your secret Santa was, but you could give them an idea. He, he gave them an idea of what you wanted. He asked you ahead of time. And so I basically was looking for cars I could do Gaslands things with. Um, I didn't want anything fancy. I, I wanted some cars that were beat to hell, basically. <laughs> uh, the cars I got were nicer than, than beat to hell, but I really loved the cars that I got. Uh, turns out that my secret Santa was Jody Knowles, and he nailed it. He basically picked out the perfect cars for me. And as I was going through them, this one was the one I really wanted to work on first. I liked the look of it. I wanted to mess around with it. And so I did. And so I'm going to take you through that. And, and you're going to see basically the whole process, which, you know, I guess I always show that in a way. Um, but it's not going to be a lot of complicated things, simple things. There's the tires. I, obviously, I was doing a wheel swap on this thing. I had those green light wheels that I picked up at Hobby Lobby during one of my trips to Arizona. And, uh, so what I wanted to do was get the tampos off. And yes, I used dry erase marker. And I'm going to show you, though I've sped it up, obviously, but I'm showing the whole process of removing the tampos from this one side of the car using the dry erase marker. Because whenever I do this, I always catch some crap. Uh, somebody asking, does that really work? Or I'll get emails or messages. You know, you know I can't get it to work for me. I, I don't know what to tell you. I've had a lot of success using the dry erase marker, basically a dry erase marker and a wet paper towel. And I just, you know, keep wiping it off and keep working at it. I think some of you are suspicious that I'm, uh, I'm receiving money from the dry erase marker industry, uh, as they try and get a toehold into that lucrative, uh, tampo removal money that's out there. That's gotta be hundreds of dollars a year at best. Hell, if anybody's going to give me a kickback of money, it's going to be J.B. Weld. Sure isn't going to be the tamp of the uh, dry erase marker people. Especially when these dry erase markers, dear Lord, one's going to last you forever. So anyhow, just keep working at it. The tampos do come off. No matter what, what your individual experience may be, I can only say how it's worked out for me. And... Uh, I like how it keeps things pretty neat. Now, I didn't have that success with everything on this build. Earlier, you saw some of the chrome pieces, the uh, gold chrome pieces, uh, plastic pieces. Now, typically, I throw those in a bleach solution, basically a bathroom cleaner with bleach in it. And uh, I tried that again on this one, as you'll see coming up here shortly. but I'm still uh, removing the tampos. And as you can see, they're coming off. And I'm only gonna show you one side. I'm not gonna torture you by making you <laughs> wait through both sides. I think I sped this up uh, double normal speed. It was either two or three times. But either way, you can see it didn't take all that long there. I'm using a pick to clean out some of the, the uh, like around the doors, some of the lines on the body. But as far as removing the gold, you know, I tried it the usual way, threw it in there and you know, sprayed the bleach stuff on it. And that did not work at all. So I, I'm going to have to find super clean. I've tried and I just can't find it. So I guess I'll hit Walmart again, see if they have it. But uh, I've been unsuccessful with that. So I ended up just spraying the stuff matte black, resprayed the interior matte black. If you take a look, there's a rat in there on the right hand side of the seat. 
and the rat has like its paw on a wrench which is pretty cool you gotta love some of the easter eggs that hot wheels hides inside of these cars that you'd never know about if you didn't customize them if you didn't take them apart so i thought well i'll drill out the exhaust pipes and i'll i'll paint some detail on here i'm not changing the the color of the body i was happy with the color of the body but uh, it, it used the pin vise, and you can see I had like a little group of cheap drill bits over there on the left. Found the one I wanted to uh, use to draw out the exhaust pipes. It, it turned out okay. Went over them with chrome, or with the uh, silver Sharpie. Just took my time detailing it. And yes, I did detail the rat inside too. I couldn't resist. Something I should mention that uh, earlier when I took the car apart, that front wing, that front wedge out in front of the car, it actually hooks on the front of the metal casting of the body so you can't just pull it straight off you kind of wedge it in there and so the back half of the car had to come off first and then you went forward with that plastic base and it's plastic base and then it has a plastic interior that sits inside of that um, the the wedge part is attached to the seat portion that then rests on that uh plastic chassis if you look the the base is the very top left of the screen to the right of that that part is with the section with the seat and that front wing that rests on top of that interior portion and then the casting goes on top of that i'm using the toothpick and the black paint to add a little detail to clean up some of the silver that was on there just make it a little neater. We're not going to keep it neat, though. We're <laughs> like I said, it's fast and dirty. So we're going to get it dirty. We don't go full full on gas lands, but uh, it's not full on post-apocalyptic, but it's dirty. There's the rat. He has a little wrench under his paw. I did do the seat belts and some gauges and painted the black to uh, make those rails up there stand out a little bit better. Yes, I'm using Citadel paints there. And here's the dirty part. This is where I got out the Citadel Agrax Earthshade and uh, made it dirty. I took the tires off and painted the wheels with this as well because they were just a little too shiny chrome. And so I kind of, I wanted the wheel, I don't know, maybe it was stupid, but I thought, well, I'll have the wheels on it at the same time I do this so it all kind of matches, as stupid as that sounds. And I do end up coating them again after I put the tires on it. And I put some of this on the tires as well. But I, you may see at the top of the screen, there's a little sponge. I had this goofy idea, and I had seen some weathering done with the sponge. But the weathering, what, what, where I was stupid was, this is a wash. It's not paint. And so the sponge works well if you're using paint for weathering. But the wash is already super thin. And so when I tried to apply it with the sponge, it just did not work. So that's why I'm back to the brush. There's even a little fresh piece of sponge up there at the top right. <laughs> but that, that's, that's what that mess is on the paper. It was this thinking of, well, I'll use the sponge, I'll tap it dry, then I'll tap it on the body, and yeah, it just did not work. So I got it all together and uh, 
I did use washers when I put it back together. You can see I did paint the engine under there too. That's really all I did. I didn't do any other detail under there. At this point, I had the tires on. I just popped them on too and put it together. The washers are a pain in the butt to pick up. And so I like being able to put the screw on the driver. And then all I do is I wet my fingertip and use that to pick up the washer off the, off the mat, drop it in there. And uh, yeah, it's a lot easier if your fingertips wet than if it's not. So get this thing together. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I really do appreciate all of the subscribers that I have. I, I'm thrilled that you want to watch these videos. As you can see here, the uh, tires do turn, but it's very reluctantly. This is not going to be winning any races. And this thing's low. This thing's really low. So I'm looking at it, sitting there, and it's like, yeah, I got to touch up a little bit more. So, yeah, there you see, again, I get the uh, Citadel out. And I'm looking at those tires and the wheels that are still super shiny. And I got to touch them up a little bit more. And, and the tires obviously didn't look right. I didn't have them on when I did it at first. So you basically had the, this car that's been somewhat weathered. And you have these wheels that are somewhat weathered. And then you have these fresh new tires on there. So, yeah. I, this could have been faster. This could have been dirtier. Uh, <laughs> no comments. But uh, anyhow, I, uh, I am happy with how it turned out. Um, it's not too extreme. It's not dramatically different than the original car, but I'm pleased with how it looks. If you want to see a full-blown makeover of this car in a post-apocalyptic style, Danny at uh, Danny's Diecast Disasters did one of these. Jeez, I think it was early last year, maybe around the middle of last year. And he to totally just blew that thing away. I mean, it's, it's amazing what he did to it. But anyhow, I, this is uh, not quite that amazing, but this is uh, a quickie. This is the kind of thing that anybody can do relatively easily. You don't need a lot of paint. Yes, I did spray matte black on the base and stuff, and yes, I did coat the car with uh, matte clear, and I did that a couple times in between working on it. So uh, here's where we started out. Gotta love the gold. Not so much. Not so much at all. But we get rid of the gold. And here's where we end up. I think it looks a lot meaner than the original. Hopefully you like this car as much as I do. So thank you for watching these videos. There's a few more shots of it here in, in a little bit. Some stills that I took of it. But uh, to all the subscribers out there, thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. Share it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.